Next, we look into basic concept and working mechanism of ACL. ACL compensation. An ACL consists of several permit or deny statements. Each statement is a rules of ACL and permit or deny in each statement is the action corresponding to the rules. So here we have a few elements. First is that we have the rules. So the rules is the rules ID. As you can see that this is the first component that you have to be aware. As I mentioned on the earlier slide, rules are in order. The order is from small digit to high digit and the maximum number you can go is 4.2 billion. All right, so first component I want you to remember is rules are in order from low order to high order. Second, in the ACL, we have an action. There are two actions you have to be aware. One is a deny, another one is a permit. Then the ACL rules also have a matching option. In this case, our matching is based on the source. And this is based on the source IP. Okay, so we have the source IP over here. And here we have the 3.3.3.0 and we also have 0.0.0.255. You notice that this is very similar to what we learned on the subnet, but we don't call it a subnet. We call this as a wow cut. Okay, wow cut. Okay, now you also can see that the rules from 5 to all the way to 4.2 billion we call that as a user defined rules. At the last, there is one rules that is hidden. We call this as a implicit rules or implied rules. Okay, so I want you to remember the rules of ACL. The composition of it is they have rules ID, they have the action, they have the matching option. It can be matched based on layer two or layer three. In this example, it's matched based on layer three source address they have the wildcard wildcard is like a subnet mask but it's a reverse i will explain this later part and at the last there is always an implicit deny okay so a question here is what does each rule mean each of these rules have its own meaning so for example for rule number five i do permit if you are a source of 1.1.1.0 subnet but if you are a source of 2.2.2.0, it doesn't actually match number one, so it go to match number two. So in this case, the rules number two here specify that if you are source 2.2.2.2, then you get denied. But what if I am not one network or two network? What if I am also not three network, but is a four network? You will go from top to bottom. So it's actually from top to bottom. And if any of this also doesn't match, then it will go into the D9, okay? You are clear with this? All right, so let's look into the rules ID. The rules ID as specified just now in the example is, is in ascending order. Five, 10, 15, you can see we have a steps. So what is a rules ID? Each rules in an ACL has an ID. So we have a step. So here we can have a step of five. Again, you can configure the step. By default, the step is five. A step is an incremental between neighboring rules ID automatically allocated by the system. The default step is five. Setting a step facilitate rules insertion between assisting rules of ACL. What this mean here is, if I have missed out some rules and I want to insert the rules in between, you can see that between 5 and 10, I can insert 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so that is the reason we have a step of 5. So how do I add a rules? So as you can see that I add a rules number 11 here. You just type in, it's very simple. So you just type rules 11, then you type the action, permit or deny, followed by the source. So how the rules ID are being allocated? 
So if a root is added to an empty ACL but no ID is manually specified for the root, the system allocate a step of five, which means that you can just type rules denied. So since you never type in the rules ID, you will add five for you automatically as the rules ID. If the ACL contains rules with manually specified ID, for example, here I have rules number 11, then it will add it for you. Okay? And the rules with no manually specified ID is added. The system allocate to this rules and ID that is greater than the largest rules ID in the ACL and is smaller integer of the step value. So don't worry about this explanation. We are going to uh, do a lab. You are able to understand how this rules ID work. The takeaway is the rules is always in ascending. By default, the rules ID step is 5. If you want to add additional rules, you can use a manual rules. Okay, so that is a takeaway from this slide.